Hello Robloxians, and welcome to this week's Roblox Recap, a weekly series that will feature videos covering Roblox updates, announcements, and more that happen each week. This week, we will be taking a look at Roblox's huge debut in the stock market, and what this means for the future of the platform. How you can get your hands on a virtual item that only a small amount of developers are handing out. Some exciting new development features, including brand new Roblox Studio tutorials to help get you started with developing on Roblox an easier way to create a typewriter effect in your Roblox games, and so much more. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first story for the week has to do with one of the biggest Roblox announcements and achievements in the company's 17 year history. On March 10th, 2021, the Roblox Corporation officially went public within the stock market via the New York Stock Exchange under the RBLX ticker. Now, for those unaware of what it means to go public, it basically allows people and investors to invest money into a company, meaning you own a small share of it. If you'd like to learn more about how the stock market investing works, I recommend looking it up on Google. That's probably the easiest way to find it out. Now, Roblox has been planning to go public ever since October of last year when it was first announced that they would go public via an IPO. They then decided to go public via a direct listing a few months later to benefit both the company and its investors. And after multiple delays over a period of about four months, the company officially went public with a reference share price of $45. However, the day they went public, which was the following day, this number jumped up to $64.50. This resulted in a 50% increase, which now values the company at over $45 billion. Now for comparison, Epic Games is worth around $17 billion, Unity is worth around $27 billion, Ubisoft is worth around $8 billion, and Electronic Arts, or EA, is worth around $37 billion. Now here's a look at David Bazuki, the CEO and founder of Roblox, ringing the iconic opening bell to celebrate the entrance into the stock market. With the 50% increase in Roblox's stock market debut, David Bazuki's stake in the company also skyrocketed from around $3 billion to over $4.6 billion. On screen now are a few images taken during the day courtesy of the NYSE, including a look inside Wall Street, a virtual Wall Street building made by Roblox, and some billboards of Roblox in Times Square in New York. Yeah, that's crazy. Congratulations once again to everyone at Roblox for this huge accomplishment. If you'd like to learn more about Roblox's stock market debut, I will leave a link in the description below showcasing all of the highlights. In addition to their market debut, Roblox has also recently created an investor relations website where you're able to view the latest investor news, catch up on events and presentations, as well as view any documents, filings, and frequently asked questions. I'll leave a link to this website in the description below. And if you'd like to stay updated with how Roblox's stock is performing, I will start to include a segment in each weekly recap video that showcases how Roblox's stock performed over the week. If you'd like to stay up to date, be sure to subscribe. Now, as of Friday, March 12th, Roblox stock is sitting around $70 per share. Up next, there is an accessory that you're able to get for your avatar that is only obtainable from a small amount of developers. A few months ago, Roblox announced the first wave of what they call developer awards, which award developers for their achievements. The first phase included a swag bag with a bunch of developer and studio themed merchandise. These bags were handed out to any Roblox developer who made over 40 million lifetime Robux. And within the swag bag came a limited amount of virtual item codes that the developers could give away to their fans. These codes contained a virtual item called the Developer Longsword and can only be obtained via one of these codes from a developer who receives a swag bag. Now how the developer gives away the codes is up to them, however. Some developers are giving them away on Twitter, while others may be giving them away if you happen to meet them in real life, so be just sure to be on the lookout for what developers may be handing these out. On the topic of development, let's go over a bunch of new features that are now available for Roblox developers. The first one being a brand new page on the developer hub that can help you get started with Roblox development. Welcome to the brand new studio onboarding experience, a first time user experience for learning the fundamentals of game development 
on Roblox Studio. This new page includes 26 different courses across 11 different categories of Roblox development, including the basics of Studio, tips on how to code, use visuals, and other support tools. Over 30 plus tools and courses are also expected to roll out in the months ahead. If you have always wanted to start developing and creating experiences in Roblox, this new onboarding page is the perfect way to get started. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. The next development feature is one that has been taken out of beta and is now fully released to all developers. This new feature is the brand new physical draggers. These new draggers bring a new drop down menu that lets you toggle either geometric dragging or physical dragging. Geometric dragging only lets you drag the entire model rather than its individual parts. However, with physical dragging, you can drag each individual part without having to ungroup an object. On screen now is the difference between the two, as well as an example of the physical draggers in action. What are your thoughts on the new draggers? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to learn more about these new draggers, I will leave a link to the developer form announcement in the description below. With the release of the new Max Visible Graphemes property, you are able to create a typewriter effect, which allows for one letter or character to appear at a time on screen. This property is an integer that is initialized to negative one by default. Once it is set to a non-negative value, it will render the same number of graphemes that is specified by the max visible graphemes property. This can be applied to text objects with or without rich text enabled. If you'd like to learn more about this new property, I will leave a link to the dev form announcement in the description below. And then the final new development feature is called Parallel Lua. Parallel Lua allows developers to write scripts that can execute in parallel to improve throughput. Now this new feature has been out for a while in a Studio Preview build, but has now been released as an official beta feature within the Roblox Studio application. This beta release brings bug fixes and stability improvements. To enable the Parallel Lua beta, just head to the Beta Features tab in Studio and enable Parallel Lua. If you'd like to learn more about Parallel Lua, I'll leave a link to the dev form announcement in the description below. And with all of the new development features out of the way, that wraps up this week's recap. Now before the video ends, I want to quickly shout out the current members of my YouTube channel. Jeffrey, Mumdelias Gaming, Zorka, Cosma Potato, Drema, and Tanner Official. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. If you'd like a shout out in the next video, as well as access to a bunch of awesome perks listed on screen, just go ahead and click the join button next to the subscribe button below this video to learn more. But that is going to include it for this week's edition of the Bloxy News Roblox Recap. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or useful, make sure to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe with notifications on to never miss out on the latest and the greatest Roblox news. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Good power, Bloxians.